What is going on, fishing family? Welcome back to White Whale Fishing. I think I've got a pretty cool video, but I'm gonna let you guys be the judge of that. Uh, today, we're talking all about jigs. Today's video is really talk, taking a look at the way that jig heads, jig skirts, and jig trailers behave in the water. Because if you've ever walked down the aisle of a Bass Pro Shops, it's like, oh my God, what is going on here? So I'm gonna be taking a look at a couple of different styles of jigs, specifically football heads, uh, pitching jigs, and finesse jigs, and hopefully starting to uh, understand what they do paired up with specific trailers in the water. Come on, let's go. First, we have a Moccasin Lures finesse jig with a Ketchum Tackle Creature Bait. Starburst skirt, which is round silicone, paired up with a Berkeley Pit Boss. We have another Booyah Finance Jig paired up with a uh, Carl's Bait Company craw of some sorts. Strike King Bitsy Bug with a Reaction Innovations Little Beaver. Strike King Bitsy Bug with a Yamamoto Double Tail Grub. Strike King Bitsy Bug with the Z-Man TRD Craws. Strike King Football Jig, hand trimmed to a finesse cut with a Zoom Speed Craw. Strike King football jig with a zoom speed crop. Hammerhead tackle, rattling football jig with a Strike King Rage Bug. <laughs> Mark 
Moccasin Lures football jig with the Missile Baits D-Bomb. and lures football jig with a net baits pack across. Unknown football jig with the Guggenbaits Bandito Bug. Beast Coast Tungsten football jig with a Biospawn Vile Crawl. Z-Man football jig with the Z-Man palmetto bugs. Lures mop jig, living rubber skirt with a Berkeley pit boss. Moccasin lures pitching jig with a Z Man turbo cross. Moccasin Lures Pitching Jig with a Strike King Rage Crawl. Strike King Casting Jig with an Excite Baits Raptor Tail Jr. Steve Parks Trash Master Jig with a Berkeley Pit Boss. Just, just for fun, I've rigged up a Moccasin Lures um, a pitching jig with a Berkeley Pit Boss, but I've rigged it vertically. Z-Man 
and TRDs on jigs. So we've got a moccasin lures finesse jig with a Z-man ticklers. All right, that was pretty cool. And I wanna point out to you guys some of my favorites. Start off with some of the smaller jigs. This, uh, these 3 16 ounce uh, finesse jig from Moccasin, it doesn't have a finesse cut on it, but this skirt is, the strands on it are so thin, way thinner than any of the other skirts. And the way that this skirt slowly opens up, I think is fantastic, regardless of what kind of trailer you have. I think that's what Matt and Tim are always talking about, about secondary action on a bait. Um, huge, huge, huge fan of that. Um, <clears throat> as far as the trailers go, um, that Z-Man TRD Craw with its claws floating upwards, I thought was absolutely fantastic and a no-brainer. Putting that TRD Ticklers on the um, Bitsy Bug, real, to me it really looked like uh, like a crawfish with no pinchers or even like a dragonfly on the bottom. And I'm, like I said, you guys know I'm always trying to be different and I think that in high pressured situations, that's something that may work really, really well, uh, even for some smallmouth. And then the last of the finesse jigs was that starburst skirt, that round silicone. I feel like it's got way more action than the flat silicone in the water. I was a big fan of that. So moving on to Arky jigs. Um, one thing I noticed, right, this moccasin lures uh, jig head has a much rounded, much more rounded jig head than this uh, buckeye lures. And what I noticed, especially with baits that don't float, is that as the as it hit, it slowly rolled down. And what ha what it caused that rage craw to do was kind of unfold its claws when it got to the bottom. Even though they didn't, those claws didn't float. I thought that secondary action when it got to the bottom was fantastic. Um, the one thing I did really love about this Buckeye Lures was the skirt. That living rubber skirt, it's just undulating down there. And again, that secondary action, high pressured fish, I think that's something that they could really, really key on, especially during a tough play. Did you see how that pit boss rigged vertically on that jig looked for a bluegill profile? Now for the football jigs. Um, that Z-Man jig, it has a flat head and it kind of causes it to land like this, but when you pair that up with a trailer that is standing, number one, the way that that skirt unfolds and gets huge is just like, wow. And then paired up with that floating bait, I think that Z-Man really put a lot of attention into that when they were planning that. Um, really, really cool. Uh, but I tell you what, I don't like that Z-Man jig for baits that don't float. And the simple reason why is because that rounded jig head, when it hits the bottom, it's going to allow that bait to fall, where that flat head kind of kept it straight up. So in the case with this D-Bomb, it had that really slow kind of undulating fall downwards. I really, really like that about the rounded head. And then overall, as far as trailers go, I think the pack of craw just completely knocked it out of the park. That's my take. Um, uh, you know, this is gonna help me make some better informed decisions when I'm out on the water. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the results of those better informed decisions later in the year. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got some gold nuggets out of it like I did. If you did, smash that like button. Give me, drop me some comments down below. Let's start chatting about what you liked. If you've got something out there that you think I need to try, let me know. Hope you guys are fishing. Talk to you soon. Take care, tight lines. God bless. Peace.